Hello, you big dossers! I can't say it the way he does it. <laughs> hey guys, these are Best Fight Friends. I'm Rachel. This is Kelsey. Apparently, allegedly, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua is set to happen. Maybe. <laughs> but actually, actually, no. But maybe, right? Because independent arbitrator ruled that Deontay Wilder does deserve his third contractually obligated third fight against Tyson Fury and he deserves it before August or September like yeah yeah so I went uh, ESPN Mark Kriegel wonderful writer reporting reported on on this part of, of the story okay tell us about it Rachel all right use your Kriegel voice though I don't think I have a Kriegel voice. <laughs> you don't... An arbitrator ruled Monday that Fury must face Deontay Wilder in a rematch by September 15th, is what Mark Kriegel reported. Mm. I'll link to Mark Kriegel's article in our show notes. And so then it goes on. They got some quotes here from Bob Arum, who is promotes Fury this side. In the United of, States, he's yeah. Fury's promoter. Yeah. yeah. And he said, we're not paying Wilder to step aside. Because apparently that would be a rather hefty, hefty fee. Better to get rid of him and go about our business. We can make the Fury Joshua... Get rid of him? What, Aram? That's... What? (laughs) We can make the Fury Joshua fight for November or December. Man, come on, Bob (laughs) Aram. I mean, I get it and I understand. But boxing... Can I be frank with you, boxing? This is getting ridiculous. There's only one fight in boxing, in heavyweight boxing, that people want to see. And that's Tyson Fury, the lineal and WBC champion, versus Anthony... Is his name Anthony? <laughs> is, is it? Mm-hmm. Why not? Anthony Joshua? Yeah. Okay, John. There's also an Anthony Johnson in it. Versus Anthony Joshua, the unified heavyweight champion. Only fight that matters in the heavyweight division is that. I love Deontay Wilder. He was a great champion. He's one of the hardest hitting fighters in history. I want to see Deontay Wilder back in title fights, but I want Deontay Wilder to give himself the best chance at that. So that means like, hey man, get back in training. Maybe take show show us some stuff in fights where you can convince the general public that you can actually beat Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. I don't think you, you I don't think he has a chance against Fury in the, in the third fight. I thought in the first fight, he he was really lucky to get those two knockdowns that saved him the draw. Right? Otherwise, that was an easy Fury win. He got beat up in the second fight. And now you're going to rush into a third fight? Why are you doing this? Deontay, I don't want to see it. I want to see you have your best chance because I do believe in Deontay. I believed in Deontay Wilder before he won the title. I was one of the few people out there. I want to see Deontay give himself the best chance. But I also want to see the only fight that matters in heavyweight boxing, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Johnson. Rachel. Joshua. Not Johnson. Why do you keep saying Johnson? (laughs) Anthony Joshua. Rachel, what do you think? I will say that from the beginning, I gave the whole Joshua Fury whole making the fight thing the benefit of the doubt. I was like, you know, (laughs) there's a lot of uh, things that come into play. It's hard to make fights, especially really big fights. But then it got to a point where I was like, this is feeling like Pacquiao Mayweather all over again. And I was getting really frustrated, so much so that when you told me it was official, because Tyson Fury had put, like, it's official, like, here's the date, like, all this, I was like, I don't believe it. Like, I was just like, I'm going to need somebody besides one of the fighters I'm saying gonna, it's yeah. official. I'm like, going to need a ticket printed that I can purchase. <laughs> you know. Yeah, if they're selling tickets, then I will believe it. Anyway, and then, like, the next day after Tyson Fury, like, makes that announcement, Wilder's like, hey, guys. Hey, and then, you know, I'm what still here. history suggests that there will be something else tomorrow <laughs> and the next day and the next day. And we're never really going to see any of these dudes fight, at least each other. So I'm like, okay, Aram, well, then what's the plan? Like, is, is Fury going to fight Wilder and then he can move the date with Joshua till next year? I, it just... At this point... It's frustrating. Here's what I want at this point. I'm going to be frank with you. I want these guys, all three of them, to be put in a cage fight against Francis and Ganyu. <laughs> and we can just end this one certain floor. I will have one heavyweight champion, and it'll be Francis. Actually, then you would still have your Bellator champ. And be- Anyway, it's complicated. <laughs> Boxing, you're ludicrous. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's already ludicrous to just follow boxing. I've, I saw people talking on Twitter today about... 
trying to explain how boxing works to people. And you know that we tried to write a piece that kind of explained the championship system of boxing. And it's like 3,000 words. <laughs> and it's it was hard to write for somebody who has... We've been in covering the sport for over a decade, right? Yeah, yeah. I grew up watching and loving boxing, okay? Hard for me to explain to people how it works. <laughs> and then on top of that, we can't even get the fights. Come yeah. on, boxing. You're yeah. better than this. I want to say you're better than this, but I, frankly, I don't think you are better than this. It's pretty frustrating, and so it, it leads me to just not uh, get excited or yeah. hype for anything surrounding announcements for this. Just, Again, until tickets start to be sold for something. So all, all I will say, the the only silver lining that I can see out of this is that Perhaps the fight officially being announced for Fury Joshua then led the whatever was going on with Deontay Wilder for that to finally rise to the surface and, and like come out. I, I don't really understand the timing of it. I'm like, well, that was interesting because it's not Wilder. It's it was the arbitrator. I was like, they just happened to come out with this. I just feel like this. Like the next day, like I was I like, I feel That's... like they're all in league together. <laughs> just and you know what? They're just trying to hurt our feelings. <laughs> How dare you? I trusted you, Tyson Fury, the most. Actually, uh, and you've let me down yet again. Yeah, I just want to see people fight. I want to see people get out there and fight. And yeah, Wilder. I mean, much deserved break. I think. That's fine. Or you could have been fighting other people. I mean, think about this time. the heavyweight like, division. What? It reminds me of uh, Golovkin, kind of. You know, like Golovkin keeps pushing for Canelo. And I'm like, dude, there's like a fight. thousand other people you could fight in the meantime. That are champions. Yeah. Right. Like, so I, it, it's a little bit reminiscent of that. I know. Like, if you're a fan of heavyweight boxing, what have you gotten? Andy Ruiz and Chris, Chris Ariola. Ariola. That's terrible. That's a terrible <laughs> fight, right? Maybe not the fight itself turned out to be terrible, but who cares about that fight? Nobody cared about that fight. We want to see these guys fight each other. We want to see Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua and minimally fight each other. Okay, but even if they can't, at least let them fight other people. What is going on, boxing? Yeah, yeah. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. So that's what we're here to tell you guys. We're frustrated by this. So we're sure you are too. If you're not frustrated... Then get out. No. <laughs> tell us <laughs> why in the comments. Set us straight, uh, best us. fight friends. Tell us why we're wrong. In a loving way, okay? All right. Got anything else? That's all I got. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.